Hey guys, all right? It's Brett from Iron Body Martial Arts. How's it going? I run a channel here on YouTube that focuses mainly on old style traditional martial arts conditioning, uh, endurance and toughness training, um, and a bit of law enforcement and self-defense, like realistic self-defense stuff, uh, as well as sort of everything martial arts related. Um, and my channel's been here for about 20 odd years or more. So listen, um, law enforcement was my background. So for the last couple of years, this video is going to be called something like um, your best everyday carry for defense against a knife. Um, caveat other than a gun, but caveat also probably just as good in a way. So listen up. Um, for the past couple of years, and this may seem stupid and simple, and you might have thought about it, but for the past couple of years, all the like members of my family and stuff, and my brother and everything, I've been like, drive around in your car. So road rage is a big thing, attacks are a big thing, muggings, whatever, um, carjackings, just wherever you are, um, even if you're not expecting. So always my spare pair of gloves or my old pair of slash resistant gloves. I would give to my 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 little brother, yeah, or I'd get him a spare pair. Um, and these are like the number one everyday carry for defense against a knife, okay? Because I used to use it. Um, every time I used to go to a job with a weapon or a blade or whatever, um, armor up, brothers. That's what... You know, samurai and soldiers do in war, you don't strip down, you armor up. So a nice pair of gloves like this, um, you know, because if you know, like I know we say you might not always know you're going into a situation. Yes, of course. But if you have time to prepare, um, if you're walking down that dodgy alley um, or you're on that walk home or whatever, or you're driving in your car, have these in the glove box. If someone starts kicking off, and if you want, you can even get motorbike ones with knuckles, but that's a different thing. But if someone's kicking off, I think this has slipped. If someone's kicking off um, and, you know, you're going to be in a confrontation situation, um, I would say, like, same as I say to my brother, bro, driving gloves, I said, put these on, put on your gloves, your slash resist, slash cut gloves. These are just mechanics slash gloves. Um, I bought them at the shop, um, and they're similar to the ones I use at work. Um, and they're just not policing anymore, but they, they're, they're completely like level whatever cut re resistant. You just buy them in the hardware store, you know. Um, and you can buy fabric ones as well. That's another good thing. If you don't want, um, although these are, look like a bit more every day, if you don't want um, thick, if you don't want thick ones, you can buy like mechanics like they're like a green elastic fabric but they're also cut and puncture resistant yeah and this is something i used to do in the police when any kind of weapon or blade or whatever i used to chuck obviously i would always go with my gloves on because it's a it's an armor it's a defense and and also you know whatever country you're in you're walking around you're, you're in your pocket you've got you know you've got your gloves rolled up yeah look it's an extra thing to carry you roll them up whatever yeah it's an extra thing to carry but I think as a self-defense tool, this is probably one of the most invaluable self-defense tools you could ever have on you. Yeah, I know they have cobotans and all that crap, um, you know, like, and obviously you could carry a knife yourself. But even carrying a knife yourself, you know, you're, you're not protected, you know. So I would also suggest if you do carry a knife, you carry slash proof gloves. And the reason why as well is like one of the number one things um, I used to try and do when dealing with blades is just grab the blade with a with a slash resistant glove. Yeah, it gives you that option of just grabbing the blade, obviously not stupidly, but literally just grabbing the blade. Yeah, if you had if you came to it in that scenario. Yeah, and then you've got it. You can tear it out. You can it, you're not going to get cut. Um, uh, obviously, you have to you know, look at the value of the slash resist. Um, you know, some of them are nigh on impossible to cut. Like this one's got Kevlar weaving in it and you can, you just can't puncture it or cut it. I use these as my motorbike gloves, which comes to another thing. On your motorbike, um, you got your gloves, you got your leather stuff, you got your helmet. 
Um, and certainly, you, you, I see like you see videos of confrontations in America and stuff, and people get in confrontations and they like rip their helmet off and you know start you know, and it's like it's like no, bro, like keep your helmet on, you know, like that's armor. Like if I got into a confrontation out there on my motorbike, or you know, or look better yet, now this is another scenario with the way, and I'll finish up soon with the way the world is now. And you can rest assured I'm ready to do this at any point. With the way the world is now, there's people going around, especially in England, stabbing attacks and this and that, these stupid terrorist, low-tech terrorist attacks. And bro, I'm always going around on my motorbike. I've always got my gloves. I've always got my freaking leather jacket. I've always got my helmet, my Kevlar pants. And I tell you what, bro, if anyone's around where I'm living thinking of doing like a little fucking, sorry, a little terrorist kind of, ooh, you know, a little attack in the shopping mall. I've always got my eyes open. I'm always sitting around looking with my coffee, with my back to the wall. I tell you what, bro, they're going to be in a bad day. I've got other things as well, which I won't talk about. But, but bro, they're going to be in a bad day because guess what's going to happen? They're going to get me. I'm going to be coming up on them. I'm going to be sprinting. I'm going to be running fast. I'm going to be slightly armored and I'm going to be fucking them up excuse my language, as hard as I can. I'm going to be headbutting with that helmet. I'm going to be smashing with these fists. I'm going to be punching. I'm going to be gouging eyes. I'm going to be doing all the things to that sort of person, mercilessly. Um, now, obviously, you would treat other people differently and normal attackers. But, you know, it's just because, you know, I, you know, I've also been trained and involved in that ethos of, um, active attacker, active armed aggressor, or whatever you want to call them, active shooter. Now, obviously, active shooter, different story. Um, so I have to put the caveat here that, yes, if you're in a country where you can carry guns and you can actually carry concealed weapons, so that's a caveat for this video. I'll put it in the, in the blurb. If you're actually in a country that you can carry guns and stuff, um, I still think this is valuable because you can be in a situation where you could be wearing your gloves and walking because it's a cold day or whatever. Someone pulls out a knife and starts jabbing you, obviously, before you can even get to your gun. Also, it's difficult to get to your gun or firearm with gloves on. But I could always get to my Glock even with thick gloves on like this. Um, but you, you, we had thinner ones. Um, I, obviously, I didn't wear these with a Glock. These are just like rigger gloves. But... Um, but yeah, so anyway, guys, look, something to think about. If taking it back a step, if you're a normal Joe, a kid in kid, whatever, teenager, kid in the street on your bicycle or whatever, because kids are getting attacked these days, think about think about it. If you're a parent, think about it, you know, at, at school and shit, you know, kids are getting stabbed these days, teenagers. Think about it. Obviously, it doesn't have to be gloves like this. But think about giving that person you love or giving them that advice, even if it's your missus or something in the car. Just say, hey, go, let's go and have a look, buy a pair of like, like work gloves slash resist gloves. So if someone ever like road rages you or comes up to you or whatever, or you, I know it sounds dumb, but you've got them in your handbag. You've got a few seconds to repair or it's a cold day on a cold day. And look, it might not be fashionable, but think about wearing your leather look um, you know, work gloves, uh, instead of like, I mean, these are great for the motorbike because the cool, another cool thing is the Kevlar, uh, is, is like, it acts like an insulation warmth barrier. Uh, so these are like sort of nearly waterproof and, and they're, they're completely cut proof and, and puncture proof, you know, if, or, you know, you'd see, you see the rating if you've seen them, they're rated, um, I've had like a steel spike that's gone into one of these and like, and like nailed into my hand. Um, but then when I took the, when I, you know, like I felt the pressure and I was, I came off of the spike and it was a full on spike, like a real sharp spike, jagged edge of metal. And then when I looked at the glove inside, it was just like stretched, you know, and it hadn't, and bro, if, if I, cause I grabbed the piece of metal and the spike was coming down. And if I didn't have these gloves, um, like that spike would have gone like through my hand. So it didn't even puncture, not these gloves, but those were my police gloves, but it didn't even puncture them. It just stretched them and tore through the leather. Um, anyway, guys, like, look, that's the end of the video. Um, it could go on and on and on about this subject, but look, I just wanted to have a think, 
yeah in the side of your car in your jacket obviously if you're motor if you're on the motorbike then you're cool um the thing I'd say about motor, I, I always ride my motorbike now. But the thing I'd say about the motorbikes is obviously you can get you can get sort of more fashiony leather gloves that are like pretty thin, and obviously they will offer they will offer protection against the blade. Um, but the, the, these kinds of gloves, you know, you could literally stab them, and you know, you obviously you'll get the you'll get the blunt force trauma to the muscle and bone, but the the knife is not going through. Um, you know, um, and I and and then you you know when it comes to parrying and just having that confidence that you've got the shield, it's certainly something I always use to use. So remember it, give it a try. Put your comments below. Put your similar because it's probably you know loads of people probably know this. Put all these things below um, and and let me know what you think. Um, but stay safe out there.